For the word of God is coming freely by the power of the Holy Spirit. As the Lord to speak to you his word today, hallelujah. Lord, send me your word today, hallelujah. He sent this word to them and delivered them from all the answers. It a day of trouble was turned to our elder here, our, bro- our pastor here, to a day of what seed gives him. Give That's what it is. Maybe that, because he was scared. Some people have happened differently. But God turned that evil to what somebody come to bless him. Maybe someone's trying to throw charms somewhere, but God sent them back to destruction. And said, no man, I'll give you what money to him. Because we said what? That for that day, every day of trouble, every day of distress, Every day of affliction is turned for a default of joy and happiness. Haman made a day for the Jews as a day of death for them. But God turned that day toward the day of joy. And it was actually in December, 12th month. So again, I say, whatever day prepared against your life, children, and loved ones as a day of evil, trouble, affliction, and misdistress, they are turned for good and able to hallelujah. Lord, Lord, send me your word. Ask God to send this word to you today. And banish every distraction. Send me your word to God. Grant utterance of your word today to your servant to God. That the word may flow freely with free cause. The devil is a liar. That the word flow freely. And bring about your lifting. Sazuku bako labanda saish. Zezuvuku ba ye kalabandes. Liso prekule kalabandes. That will bring about lifting. Zeze kalabosa Jesus. Magnify him. The Lord, we arrest everything that fights your word today, Lord, by the blood. Cause your word to flow freely to us, O God. So I receive the grace to love the word of God. To stay with the word. So I receive the grace to love the house of God. To stay in the house of God. We will not be there. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's our life when say, let's come to the house of God. As you pray today, God's word will come freely to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. I receive what transfer the word to the Hallelujah. Yeah. And grace to divide the truth right. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Have your seat. Hallelujah. It's a day of lifting. It's a day of divine lifting. Okay. If you love God, God will love you. But He first loved us. Jeremiah 3, I believe, verse 3. He said, I have loved thee with the everlasting love. And I have drawn you what with my loving kindness. Some love different things in life. God is looking for those who love Him more than all these things. Some people cannot stay in God's presence. They cannot stay in prayer or worship. For a long time, but they can they can stay with a, a friend. Maybe you call those days a boyfriend, girlfriend can be in the house for three hours, four hours. In sin, iniquity, and they're okay with it. But they can pass the night in the iniquity of the flesh that leads to destruction. But if it comes to the house of God, everybody's test. Why? Because it's a place of blessings. The devil hates you to be blessed. He told me one day, we were praying, he said, 
the, the, when he was talking about how he gave birth to his, his daughter, he said he used to go to and see this guy. They will stay the whole house. All they are doing the same thing. They are doing the, same, the whole day. They will be in the house the same day for both the night, doing the same thing for three days. I said, well, I said, so no, 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 that's the flesh. But God wants to be with him like that for hours and enjoy it and be happy with him. That's what turns your life around. Because the more you stay with God, the more no, no, that, that all those three days you stay with the guy. What, what brother, about, about or, 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 or the pregnancy? I have, I have a baby today. That was the brother. That was okay about from that place. Then sickness came from it for three days. He was actually going to a program, a church. Eh? As he got to the bus stop to enter to the program, a church, eh? the boy called him from where he called him from. That's how he changed her mind and went to the boy. If I traveled to the guy's place, the state, I was there for three days. That's led to the child he gave birth to. You need to love God. The rapture is already here. This, this, this thing can, rapture can happen now. You know my joy about this thing is that we understood this thing is working. That the blood is the answer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As for thee, by the blood, you are out of peace to waters. That's what he says. He said the blood poured your conscience from the blood to serve God. The same blood. So you can see in the church like this, the rapture is empty, empty, empty. Everybody is gone. By the power of the blood of the Lamb. It's very close. That's the final lifting what we're expecting. The final lifting from the earth. Rapture is, rapture is lifting. Vroom from the earth to the sky. It's lifting. That's what rapture is. That's next we're expecting. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Because you went to see the war in Israel. They are just cut everywhere. With Hamas. It's getting closer every day. So be prepared. Love the house of God. Love God. More than, more than love God more than your children. More than your husband. More than your wife. They are secondary. They are secondary. They are secondary. Avira came back from that a counter of hell. She was lifted from up, going to heaven. Then she began to descend to hell, into the pit. The, the things, they say the order there is terrible, stench. Then the fire, the pit. not for two days. All these people, buga, 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 buga. They, don't, they, don't, they don't understand yet. It's, it's, it's a sleep. And then before you say, what is this? It's already it's, it's over. It's a sleep. Don't be careless, God. Anything you are pushing in life is rubbish compared to God. It's a waste of time. Even ministry is a waste of time. I don't mean I can be pastor coming to church without fellowship with God. It's a nonsense. Just come to preach. It's nonsense. You need a Roman. You need a, you know God. You enter God. He enters you. You are there three hours, four hours. You are crying. A call. She turned. She, she was going to a program. He went to the guy. He said to me, "I was what? What are we doing? Just stay there the whole day, the same thing. In the house. The guy has money now, so anything you want to eat, a fridge, everything. So that's uh, from church program. The things that sweet, that 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 looks tasty, they are actually destroyed very easily." Like your sugar. Sugar is very sweet. But when they tell you what sugar does to your life, <laughs> you'll be amazed. Sugar. 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 <laughs> what it does to your life, you'll be amazed. So I see grace to love God with my spirit, with my soul, with my body, with my mind. And all I have. Hallelujah. Seek ye first one, the kingdom of God. And all this, I said, and all this thing shall be known to you. If you can seek first the kingdom of God. So I can come and preach as a pastor and go to hell. I don't have fellowship with God. So that day you come and tell me, okay, I preach. <laughs> yes, I was told you are the MD of the company, of my company, of Comfort Life Church. I made you the MD. Because it's like a company now. It's branch of his, his of church. You are the head, yes, and so what? He said, I was a, uh, so, so, yes, I, you're employed now. I took care of you now. That, that, but you, I don't know you as a person. 
depart. So don't think that I'm coming to church to preach. It makes you, makes you a holy man. No, it doesn't make you anything. It's what you do with God at home. Into a corner. Corner God in the corner. And you are yelling to God. Have mercy on me, God. Touch my life. Paul said, I may mean, know you want and the power of what? Your resurrection. With all he has known about God, he was asking God, I may mean, know you. Receive the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, baptize me with the grace to ever long for you with all of my soul and life. Mm, that's, that's Christianity. Nonsense. You see, they, they, they tell you that they, they tell you if, you, if, you don't, if you don't have married this girl, your life is in one. What, what nonsense is that? If you don't go to school, school you're of it. What nonsense is that? If you don't go to school, you're of it. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Papa was told that he said, My head don't cover my body. Cover what? From above. That's what he told him. The only thing that you lose and cry is the Holy Spirit. Because you're finished. What is going on? Not your children, not your life, not your wife. And if you love him, they are intact. They are intact, they are preserved. All you own will be destroyed without the Holy Spirit. What are we doing these days? Eh? What are we doing? Now, you went to school. The brain of your school. All you learned in school. You got in school. All your, all your things. You use it for your personal business. Then by study, you are very tired. And I want to sleep. It's because you can wake up. That's why you can sleep now. If you are in the bed, shitting and pissing, eh? you, 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 you go to work. It gives you strength. The mind to think. And do your business. Some people are insane. They have no mind. After all those things, all the things God gave you, it's only for yourself. Only for yourself. Only for your business, your children, only for yourself. None affects God at all. No. Then when Sunday you say you're tired, you go and you go. It is so Sunday morning you sleep. After the man, you, you can't be home. Sunday, come to church. She was already on. She was going to heaven. And they told her that, oh, oh no, you did abortion. No. She began to descend to the pit. And the first woman she saw said, What? I've been born for what? 100 years. The first woman he saw in hell said, She shall be born for 100 what? 100 years. Don't, don't they bomb for fire 100 years? Does it, that, that time, you, you, you know, husband again. You know, children, she's ravaging. She, she's, even when you have ordinary pain in the, in the physical realm, and appendicitis, you're done, appendicitis, you're already, you're already finished. You don't need anybody anymore. You, don't, you can't see your children anymore. Yeah, that's why you are, you are ravaging the pain. How much more hell? You don't need it anymore. Your son's mind is already gone. The man of God said to you, if you're in church where they are reminded you, listen, be happy. They are, you are reminded be happy because they are happy you. Be happy. All the breakthrough will be destroyed. God took God to Paul Nietzsche. He was teaching us. God told you that, that when, when he was God said, all these things will be destroyed. The car, everything will be destroyed. Even the church building will be destroyed. All the church we are building right now, they will be destroyed. Those two will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. All will be destroyed by fire. He said that's true. Who, what kind of person should you be by now? If that's the truth that all these things were being so what, who should you be by now as a Christian? That's what Peter was asking. So your lift is, is, a, is a connection to God. Because God is the most high. So if you have a road that connects with, if you have a cord that links you to the most high, it can't take you down because he's what's most high most high. So if you have a cord of fellowship in worship, in prayer, you are longing for God. The cord means you won't go down for the path of the just like it like It goes brighter by the day. If your cord is linked to most high, you don't go down. It's most high. Most high don't go down. So you have to go up with most high. So your lifting is your connection and mingling with the most high. In this world, in the communion, in worship, in fellowship, in church, you are mixing with God. You are turning yourself into God. 
you are staying with God. You love him more than anything else in life. It was the husband that that girl was praying for. The husband that was smiling on the phone when the, when the, when the woman was dead. That was the husband. I'm sure when they were, when they were married, they were, they were happy. He said, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, horse, horse, horse. The same horse, horse, horse. Eh? They, were, they were carrying her corpse with baby her whoop, to the mortuary. The man was smiling on the phone. But what, what, what's, what's wrong with you? What's the matter with you? Thank you. The, the, the mass, I saw the man. Not the, I saw the man. My, my, husband, my wife was there to, to put to bed. Yeah, the ghost was smiling on the phone. For it, I don't know what. After 30 minutes, so, eh, that was the truth. Eh, he cried for a few minutes. The tears was gone. And that's maybe the woman, the one, the woman is dying for every day that he wants to marry. So I receive grace to love God with all my soul, all my heart. The grace to stay fellowship with God. Who is the most high? Who is the most high? So I keep, keep, I keep going up and up. Yes, if you are linked to the most high, you go up, up, and up. You don't go down. It's the most time. Psalm 113, verse 7. Psalm 113, verse 7. The day of divine lifting. I gave a point to you very clearly here. Now, that The only way to lift up is to tie yourself to God, who is the most high. You don't go down. Because it's up. Every time you're always going up. Even when you want to go down, the call will carry you back again. If you are tied to God, you always go up. He's the most high God. Psalm 113, verse 7. Read for me, 7 and 8. Erased up the poor out of the dust mm. and lifted the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. You see what? He raised the poor what? out of the dust. I'll tell you what the dust means. Dust. Dust. And dung. Dung means a place of filthiness. Like that, like the lady left. left to somewhere else, when he should be in church, he left to a place of filthy with a man in their filthy state for days. You get the point? Most boys who talk to you are demons in human form. Boy Brown in human form. Boy Brown, Boy Brown finished the life of him with the hostel. Finished his life completely. With drugs and all kinds of things, snuffing and sniffing. He, 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 he passed. I was at he he the hotel. He, I was told he, I got it, he, he, from drugs or whatever. I said of it. God lift up the poor. Say, say today, God will lift me up. Hallelujah. So God is one that lifts us up from where we are. Psalm thirty-three say, "What is the lifter what of my head?" Hallelujah. So God is in, in the base of what lifting men from dust. Dust means the, dust means the, the dust at floor. Dust means the very lowest thing on the ground. That's dust. So from lowest thing, God can raise you up from the floor. Today, by this service, God will raise you up in the name of Hallelujah. It's a change of level. The first lifting is what born again. As for thee, by the blood, I pray a prisoner from, from the pit without waters. That is, you are in a pit without waters. If you are in a war system where all kinds, fornication, adultery, lies is working, the devil is, head, is the God of the world. In that system, you are in a pit. Genesis 13, verse 1. And Abraham came up out of Egypt, up from a pit, up out of Egypt. Genesis 26. God said to uh, uh, Isaac, his son, Do not go down into what? Into, so Egypt is a pit. Egypt is the war system. With the Pharaoh that holds down the people of God. A child is the devil, is the Pharaoh himself. That holds people from getting, getting, getting born again. So the first thing is that he has to put it from the pit of hell. What's pit of hell? Test, no water. What's water? The word of God. So to bring it out of a place of no word of God. The word? A place of word. What's word? A heavenly place. So the first lifting of all of us who came here, who are born again, are that we are brought from what? Our pit of what? Death. Pit of sin into what? Righteousness, the first lifting you can think of, or you ever need in life to be lifted from Satan, the kingdom, what to God, and that's by blood. Colossians 1 verse 14. You see, he has moved the phone, kingdom of darkness, or kingdom of his, of his own son, just Christ. Colossians 1 verse 14. So, the first one is what 
coming from what the word into what into Zion. Somebody says Zion, Hallelujah. This is Zion, yes. And I, we did that, that Zion personality. You can you can get that tip, past one and two, that you are born again to Zion from Psalm eighty one, eighty one, yes, eighty seven or so, yes, seven. You are born to Zion from everywhere in the world. So for anywhere we are in the world, church everywhere now. Anywhere you are, they'll go and preach to you, and you are born again. That born again, eh, is they bring you out of the pit to what to heavenly places. What does it mean to be born again? Eh? Is to be is to come from heaven. <laughs> That's what it means to be born again. You are dead. You are no more, your, your link with God is destroyed. Born again means they recreate your life. Ephesians 2. Eh? You are quickened back from dead spirit to what? Physical spirit. Quickened. That's born again. You were dead before. You are not born again. That's quickening. Into Zion. That's so the first lifted. Because you are formerly the pit. A pit of no word. W O R D. Word of God. is place of no water. A bit of test. And in hell, the thing that comes in is that they test. They say, I'm testy. Their truth will dry. No water, no water can come in. You're just testy. You will not be there at all. Hallelujah. Amen. Say you will not be there at all. Hallelujah. Amen. So, what are the things? What do we see in liftings? Let me just speak some few things. What do what do what to note in lifting about liftings? One, lifting connotes what carrying something above it, original level or estate. Like I said, I'm born again now. From the pit of hell without waters. Zachariah 9, verse 11 and 12. As for thee, by the blood, I brought you how? By my hand. I pull you, I lift you off from that place to get born again to what to heavenly places. Far above what? All devils that will trouble your life. So lifting close what? Take him from where it is to where it should be. That's, this is lifting. Lifting. From single what? To the married person. It's lifting. From poverty world to riches is lifting. From cost to world, listen, that these are liftings of different dimensions. Liftings of your life. Because some, you, can be, you can be married and have no child because of attack, war, a horn against your life. So lifting means the breaking of the horn to move from what? From a married woman to what? To Mama Tony. You are only married. You are not Mama somebody. So that's on other realm. You now have to move from there to what? To Mama Tony. It's a new realm. It's called lifting. What fights your life eh, is horns of the Gentiles. That's cast your life. So you need God's need to move from where they've kept you to walk into a new place. You are kept in a level in life by the horn of the Gentiles. But when God comes, He raises you up, my God, by His mighty hands. I'm going to get there shortly. So lifting close what? The lifting of a thing. Move from a place. You say Psalm 113 verse 7. You say he lifted the what? The poor from the dust, the lowest place. Dust means the lowest place. To sit what? With prince of God. What prince? We are born again. That is, you are formerly on the floor. What are prince? Prince are we God's children. We are prince of God. Are you here at all? In that house, I was a prince before he left. Um, and, um, 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 in nature is a prince of God. You got, um, all these men of God, they are princes. And all the children, they are all princes of God. So, when you are born again, you are raised for where you are to meet, to be with them in the same realm. The princes of God. So, it means what? To be raised up. Today, be raised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the raise you need today. That change of level. You enter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It could be from causes life, what? Into blessing life. It's a change of status. From the single to the marriage, it's a change of status. Oh, everything from job to job. These are changes of status. The guy has no job. The pendulum is only beginning to have 300,000. That's a change of level. Something happened. Because someone was, fight, was fighting the job before. But someone delivered. He entered a new realm of 300k every month. It's the hand of God. I will get there shortly. So lifting means lift. To bring you out from a place. Up. It means up. Hallelujah. Number two. Lifting. God also what? The use of force. That is stronger than the weight. Now, for example, if this thing now, if you tell, um, uh, Div- uh, no, no, Divine can try it. If you tell um, Muna China to carry this thing here, he, he needs some extra strength. So, lifting means to apply a bigger force eh, to carry what you need to carry. In fact, they say everything stays in a state of rest eh, until what relevant force acts on that stuff to move it. Everything. This guy, that, that my cousin, and I can stay there. You can stay there forever. I said, I kick it. I said, there's a force. So something move it. It will be a force that can move it. You will, will stay for life. And decay. Okay, then. So, lifting means applying a bigger force on the weight to be lifted. And what will, boom, it carries up. 
So I can carry someone because I'm stronger. Having so I carry something like this. That's lifting. Today, no matter the weight, of, weight on your life, God's going to carry up the name of Hallelujah. So I said, no matter the weight that's holding you down, you're going to come in at the name of Hallelujah. Because God has what? A higher hand of power to bring you out. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. My mom was traveling one day with my, my, my brother. My brother is in Germany now. He's a very big boy in Germany. He works with uh, people. So he was traveling. Then he was still very low. He has no money much. For, so then he was a teacher then. So he was driving my mother to Benin from um, Agbo to Benin. And then when they got to acquire a bridge, it's a very dangerous bridge. It helped, a lot of people have died in that bridge. So the, there was a break, the accident happened there. There were kinds of cops out because terrible bridge. That bridge, Okwai, people know Okwai Bridge in those states. So, and then something happened in that place. As they were coming down that bridge, so something happened. So they, the cars lined up. Are you here at all? They lined up because there were, there were no more road anymore. So they tried to clear the road before they can clear the. So now, a trailer from that Okwai Bridge, there's a, a bend. You don't see what's happening down to you. Enter from the bend, come down like this. From a bend to come down. So if you are coming, you know, we will see what's happening in the bridge until you enter that, you, you, you begin to come down from that bend. So it's still a fake break. And my, fa- my father's car was the last car on the line. So it, as they descended, he didn't know that his, his man shouted. He was heading for the back of, my mother was at the back of the seat. So my brother looked from the mirror and said, until we don't finish. So as my mother turned, it was already closed. She screamed, gee, that is, uh, he screamed to death. Because that kind of thing, there's no survivor. So she screamed, Jesus. My child about there. And thought they are dead. But nothing happened. He had, bah, somewhere. So her, she, she see through her eyes. After she began to open, small, small. He didn't trail her, trail her at all. Then the trailer was inside, inside the water. Now, the man was a, a, a mala. This is life story. The mala was trying to stop. Because of what he saw, what the, what the man saw, front, back of my mother's car, the car. My God. So, eh, 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 my God. So, the mala couldn't die. He was struggling out of the trailer to, to ask questions. So, he came out. He went, where's, the, where's the man? Where's the man? Where's the man? Where's the man? He said, which man? They, they're trying to say, calm down, you are mad. No, no, no. He said, no, where's the man? He said, a man stood at the back of the car. My God, and held the trailer and turned it into the waters by the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus Christ. So, I mean, she that, would have found a peace to gather her together because they would have crushed. It was a crush. It was like, it was a crush. It was a big crush. He called the name, and the angel lifted the car into the waters. Every attack on your life, every stone rolled against your life for today. God's angels devour the name of Hallelujah. Lifted, they carry the car, a higher force, thriller into the waters. The man was shouting. He was looking for the thing. When he got there, he was looking for the man. My mother broke the tears. She understood what happened. She wept. She wept. My uncle, no, it's not a Christian. I don't know what don't, 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 don't happened. But then my mother broke to tears. There's the power. Lifting means a stronger strength to save you from where you are. So the strength of an angel took it off into the bush. Today you are free in the name of Hallelujah. That's what divine what lifting. That's divine. Nobody can have done that. But the hand of God did that. Angels did that for you. So today, day of lifting. I don't know where you are right now. Where you want to change from to, that, to a new one. Maybe single to married, or poor to riches, or cost to blessing. Whatever it is, a change of status. Receive the name of Jesus. Receive, hallelujah. Receive, receive the name of Jesus. Receive that hallelujah. Receive that you have been have writing jam for the past four years. One guy writing jam, 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 jam. You can't change from second school to two years. No, that's that's it. That's there's a hold there for your life. You could move. But after this time, you are free. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why do I need divine liftings? First John five nine says, "Although we of God, but the world lies what in wickedness. There's wicked oppression in the world." Zachariah one verse eighteen. Tonight, to, to one. He says, 
and I saw four horns of the Gentiles. Four horns, Gentiles. Really, Zachariah, Zachariah, from the Uhu Zachariah. There are things that force very quickly. There are things that hold you. You need this deliverance because there are things that fight your life, that want to suspend your life every day. Every day. The first madness is that you know that this lifestyle you are living will take you to legal fire. You are still doing it. That's insanity. So everyone on the street that's not born again is, is, is mad. Even if you are a senator or governor or president, if you have not given your life to Christ, you are actually mad. Why? The Bible says, God had not given us spirit of what? Fear. But of power. Love and what? Sun mind. That means if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you have what? Sun mind. You have what? Insane mind. That you know this you are doing is wrong. That's going to take you to hell. You see, do it. Even madman won't do it at all. A madman can say, I walk to the fire. No. But you are doing what most people are doing. They know, they know the truth. They know the truth. Romans 1 20. Oh, keep that. Okay, don't cover it. Don't cover that. that hand. Romans 1 20. Insanity means you know that this you are doing, this lifestyle, you will not end up in lake of fire with devil. You still do it. You are insane. That's insanity. That's the real one. Because a bad man will do it. So that's that's, that's great one, insanity. Because a physical man will do it. Romans for me, one, 1 verse 20. It's actually verse 31. Verse 31. 30, 30, 30 says, backbiters, eh? being filled with all unrighteousness, fornications, wickedness, covetousness, malicious, full of evil, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backs, backbiters, haters of God. They don't like God at all. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil. They invent evil. They invent it. Disobedience to parents. They don't, like, they, they don't have time. Without understanding, eh? covenant Covenant breakers without natural affection, they move from woman to man, man to man, implicable, unbearable. Who now look at verse 32? Who knowing the judgment of God, who knowing they are aware, are you at all? He said, Who who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things, they are aware. I what will be this one? So that you are aware and you are doing it. That means that's a sanity. Romans. Are you here at all? Romans. So they are aware. They do it. That's insanity. Insanity. So if you want to, only God can bring you out. Because has, God has left you out of what? To remove you. To stay in it. Not to be changed. He has left you. So he's not like a deliverer. He has left you. So they will not enter the person. And you stay in the same, the line for the kitchen unto destruction. You can't come back anymore. Except somebody cry for your help. For help. God will not rethink again and throw you back from that place. They know that those who do sin, they are aware. Not that they, they know. The sinners, they know that smoking is not good. They know that um, uh, for the, they, what, they know. They know. They know now. Pastor, I don't try now. Because they are aware. They are aware. But the Lord wants their feet. They want. Hallelujah. Now, these are the things we experience. The force of darkness. They want to serve God. They cannot serve God. These are forces of darkness. Wickedness on it. They know that if you serve God, you're going to go to heaven. So these are wickedness on it. Zechariah one verse. 18 to 21, quickly. Then lifted up my eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be this? Listen very well. And he answered me, uh-huh. These are the horns which have scattered Judea, Israel, and Jerusalem. Okay. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Uh-huh. Then said I, What come this to do? And he speaks, saying, These are the ones which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them, to cast out the ones of the Gentiles, which lift up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. Scatter it. So you want to do from enter jam, you can't. Once you get to do exam, they scatter, your exam, they scatter it. Someone went to exam hall. Eventually, as he got there, as he started giving the jump paper to start filling the uh, blank, he, he, went, he went blank. He, blank. He, he couldn't see anymore. When they finished, the thing came back to her. It, came, it, came, it became normal. <laughs> so so, so, so that's, that's, a, that's the hand of what, that's, that's, that's what the horn of the Gentiles. Because it, that, that horn has vowed to keep her as what secondary school student, not university. You can't enter there. So each time you want to do jump, the blackness comes again. 
It's called the whole of Gentiles. So these are horns that scatter Judah. Nobody can rise in the family. You get, you want 20 million, he dies. Nobody can change level in that family. There's a horn that he gives them. I heard all of them, I heard all of them, I heard all of them. He'll be like, it goes down. Once he wants to leave that, part, that place, it goes down. That's it. Now, every wicked uncle, every horn of the Gentiles that has kept you family in that level, in any evil level, they are free, they're about deliver, they are delivered. Deliver, deliver, delivered. Scatters Judah. They can arrange. Do business. Every, every this, he tries to get, he try, I don't try, Pastor. I don't try to do business. He, he, I do, you know what? No one they walk. There's a scattering in, in his life. Scattering. He can't put things together. Each time his life is about to be together, it's always scattering. It's always having scattering experience. Scattering. Now I stand as a as a carpenter of divine. Every horn of the Gentiles against your life, they are the name of destroy. They are going to name of destroy. Hallelujah. They are destroyed. Hallelujah. Yes, Kata. You can't pass from that level. If it's poverty, they stay poverty. They can't enter riches. That if it's anything, they stay there. If it's they don't get, have children, then they only get married. Powerful, they always have colorful marriages. It, their marriage are only very powerful. People will come, call off people, they shout it, but no child must come from there. That is a stage they keep them. There are eight ladies, powerful husbands, no child. A quam is it stays in that realm. It's called the horn of what that's why we need liftings. Lifting means to take it from where that level to a new level. So out of the eight daughters, one prays down the hand of God and he breaks the hold by Rokubaya. And then from nowhere she gets pregnant. And she can't touch, she hides the pregnancy. He said, I love it to uh, my, my sister. No, no, no. Okay. Hey. So he holds he it. It's every day. He's looking at him in the middle because he's shocked that something has changed. Wickedness is why we need liftings. There's wickedness in the world. In your neighborhood, in your compound, in your village, there's wickedness in this world. There's wickedness in this world. There's, somebody gave birth to a child. They called and said, he don't born, no. He said, how, how? In a true nose, he born. That means they are finished that he can't give birth to a child. And so, when he gave, he said, where are they born? He spoke in Yoruba. He said, is it from nose or where? <laughs> My God. Pray in the Holy Ghost, Maroko. Lose, lose yourself. Lose your father. Every home of the Gentiles, I break the horn. I pray to every horn of the Gentiles, holding you down, be broken, be broken, be broken. Enter your university, enter your new rep now by the hand of God. Be lifted, be lifted, be lifted to a new realm. Be lifted, be raised by God, by His mighty hands. We are raised as a ministry. We are raised as a people. We are raised from the old stock to a new realm of power. My God. Is it through nose he gave birth? That means she's been settled. This one, yes, he don't marry, but to change from marriage to picking old, no, it don't happen. But you are free, hallelujah. Horn doesn't mean uh, uh, ubulu. It doesn't mean that they go to horn. That's not what it means. It means power. Habakkuk 3 verse 4. It says, I saw the hand of God with seven horns. Which are what? Seven spirit of God. I mean, that's power. So when they say horn, it means for power that holds you down. There are four horns in the world. And God gave us seven horns of the Holy Spirit. So when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, eh, no horn can bring you anymore. So anyway, you are finding yourself now. What do you need? Power of the Holy Spirit. With seven horns. There are four that holds you down. So you are engaged with seven that you are free. Because four can't handle seven at all. It's not possible. So the hand of God comes to you mightily to bring you out with the seven horns. Now, I pray for you today. Every horns of the Gentiles holding you down in the form. This church down in the form. By the hand of God, we are free. The name of 
by the seven holes, by the seven holes of sand, the seven holes were free. We are free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost, my God. Thank you, Lord. The homes of the Gentiles. Now, point number two I want to show to you here is that the Bible said that Psalm 113 already says there are two places you must be taken from to a new realm. One, from the dust. And two, from what? The dung hills. Dust talks about what the lowest. Because if you check your this is the say I will shake up the dust in your shoe, if you go and preach. That means it's, a, it's always at the lowest. It's, that means the, the last thing on the ground, dust, is the lowest. Using the earth as a standard, dust is the lowest. It's one attached to the earth. It's the lowest part of life. It's a place of disregards. As a dust, people match. If you match, are you, are you accused? Are you accused of walking on, on the street? So they, they have no regard for dust. Anybody can match dust. And they know, nobody will arrest you now. In the work of a road, that dust they match. You go with us and say, ah, see dust my shoes. You cannot say this one. That is where dust is. Is the lowest. It's a state of shame and reproach. Of no regards. Regards to your family. Nobody has respect for you. You are, you are a nuisance. The best, I mean, the best is a nuisance to the family. It's at the state of dust. It's called dust state. Maybe it's the first son. A nuisance to the family. Maybe it's anything. It, there's nothing that works in his life. So they insult him. They all kinds. Poverty makes you that state also. Very low state. But today, covenant day of lifting. God's hand is coming on you now. In the name of Hallelujah. It's going to come with the seven horns of the Gentiles. Uh, the seven horns of God. To free and cut off the force of the God. Oh, in the name of <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't bother. It's only four they have. We have seven coming, coming for us. They have only four. We have seven for us. So the dust is low. In Genesis 3, verse 14. Genesis 3, verse 14, quickly. And then that verse 19. Quickly. Genesis. Now. Yes. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou had done this, yes. thou had caused above all cattle, yes. and above every beast of the field, yes. upon thy belly shalt thou go, you see? and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Uh-huh. Now verse 19, to the man. And it, okay, verse 19. Yes. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread. Listen, yes. That's, that's a cause. Continue. Till thou return unto the ground, uh-huh. for out of it was thou taken. Yes. For thus, for thus thou art, mm-hmm. and unto thus shall thou return. You get the point? Now, that's what the angel said to God. Angel said to God, who, who is man that you are conf- concerned about? When, when angel said, when, when men give to God, eh? he's wondering, they, they're telling him, let us, let's, let's finish them. Let's kill this one, start afresh. They don't have regards for you at all. Because they see what, as what as dust. They are metals of gold. But they see what as dust. So they, they, told, they told God, who is man that you are concerned? They are talking to him how to save them. Let us kill him. All this time, let us march and kill them. One angel passed through a camp and left 185,000 soldiers dead. He didn't fight them. He only passed. So a man like that sees his God eh, trying to pet human beings who are dust. He can't understand. Let us march this one. Let us start afresh. Because they know, they know who he is. He can start afresh. They know, who, they know him. They know Elohim. So they are wondering why this we human beings are giving God trouble. They say, let us match the creature. They say, who, who is man that you are concerned, oh God? Let us finish and get start afresh. That's how much God loves us. From dust. From dust. So angels are surprised. One angel just passed through the camp of soldiers. He didn't fight them. He left 185 dead, untouched. Not, not women, not children. Three soldiers. Angels of God. So dust is what the lowest state. That's why they were wondering about God. What is wrong? What is matter? These guys are very low. Why are you concerned about them? But God loves us. He was trying to put a point to the angels. I am God at all times. I can do offense. I can do this. So dust means the lowest part. And who is that dust? Look at the risk of being a dust. When Adam fell, eh, he was called what now? A dust. When he was made a man, he was made what? A, a, a prince. 
when the sin came, it became what it does. So if you are in sin, you are what you are made what it does. Every sinner out there is what in the dust realm. What's the danger? Listen very well. The danger is this. Revelation 20, verse 2 says what? Who is this? Who is this? Who is Satan? Huh? The old serpent. In Garden of Eden. Now, what did God say about the dust? About serpent, verse 14. He said, dust shall that what eat. So once you are a dust, you become a meat for what? The devil. So once you are a dust, what? He said, he said dust shall that eat all your days. So once you bring, you move from prince to a dust, what happened? You are a meat for what? For the devil. He is the mighty serpent as, and God gave him power to eat what does. So every sinner out there, they are like poultry bed in the farm. He can come and bring, bring that one. And that's all. That's, it's gone. Accident. No, bring that HIV is Bring that one. So that's how they, they eat them on the wall. They die like fowls everywhere. No mark on them from God. So they are key. So if you are a dust, it's dangerous. Because the devil has the right to eat you. That's how we preach the gospel. To our loved ones. To move them from what? From dust to what? To the princess. It's a lifting to them. So if you are going out to preach, know what you are doing. You are going there to lift men from dust to what? To prince state. Why? Why they are there? They are what? A meat for the devil. Who is wicked and doesn't have kindness at all. So if you are down in sin, if you are living in sin and you are a Christian, well, what have you done? If you are, if you are a Christian living in sin, what happened? You have become also a dust. So that's why we engage in blood always. To avoid death and be saps. Because devil has the right to eat, eat anybody as a dust. And the dust, who is the dust? The one that airs against God. If you sin, praise the one to remove dust. And devil be wicked, don't spare at all. From today, you'll be the praise the name of Hallelujah. So the dust is not good. Don't stay there. Live a life of righteousness and stay up off from the dust. Because in that dust, the devil can make a feast of you. As long as you're dust, he's free to eat up. Number two, number two, number two issue there is a dust and what? Donkey. What is donkey? Donkey means a place of filthiness, uncleanness, shame, report, dirtiness, which includes sin. If you go to hell, those who have gone to hell and came back say one thing. They say it is it smells. Say the stench in hell is terrible. He said, if there's no fire, only the old door, you can't stay there yourself. So sin smells. That's what it means. So physically speaking, you are, you are perfumed, but you are smelling spiritually because you are a sinner. Sin smells. It's filthy, it's so clean. Unclean spirit is made of water. If you go to shrine, shrine smells, I mean. Shrine smells. Have you been to shrine? It smells. Even the one you see outside, where they, they cut blood, everything. You see, we went to, to a pastor one day, I saw it. The kind of thing that you can't, the stitch there is terrible. Because the shrine cannot walk eh, if it's clean. No. If it's clean, it can't walk. The demons can't stay in a clean place. So if you sprinkle blood now, they are gone because that place is already sanctified. They can't operate. That's why we use engagement daily in this service to torture unclean spirit around your life. So they do well in a clean place. What is donk hill? A donk hill means a hill of what donk? What is donk? Excreta. That's what donk is. Donk means excreta. So donk hill means a hill full of donk. Excreta. That's what it means. So you say if you stay there, no fever there. Nobody wants to come to donk hill now. They will, even with that, they will say, ah, come out from that place now. Ah, which can't tell me. Are you get the point? They are saying, mm, this place. Hey, leave there now. What are you doing there? You will say, no, I'm not here. I won't stay. Ah, okay, make you stay there now. So, so when you are in a donkey, no fever, nobody will, you are rejected. They don't want to come close to you. It's still, that woman, that testimony, the woman was smelling everywhere she went to. She used perfume. That was not, well, that's a demonic one. So one day, in another service, we were told that he took the shot of oil. Huh? In my father's father in law's ministry, he took the shot of oil eh? and vomited talisman. I think he called one of the three things. I mean, he excreted those three things and the stage ceased. He didn't need perfume anymore. Perfume, don't, don't do it for perfume. He was, was free from the honor. Now, by one, by one wickedness, eh? she lost marriage. You can't marry a woman that's smelling now. No. You can't employ a smelling woman. No. So, by one thing, what attack, she lost job. One, only one attack. She lost her job. Everything has lost. You can't employ as many. In the office, you can't employ as many women now. Nobody will stay there with her. She was smelling. But by the shot, what happened? How? You know what happened to her? 
in Ezekiel 3, eh? Ezekiel 3, we'll look at each time you anoint somebody, eh? the oil has a fragrance eh? that attracts the hand what? of God. So if you check Exodus 30, he gave them the volume of things to use for the for the for the for the oil. He said, take 40 this of this, this of shaking of this. He gave them specification to use. So when they add it together, it will bring out a kind of order eh, that will bring hand. Once he hears it, it will come down like this. So when they anoint you with oil that by faith, they come down realm of what that fragrance. So God's hand come away. So when she was an, when she drank the oil, God's hand came on her. That was what the seven horns of what of the hand of God. So the four horns were broken, and she excreted those things by the power of God. Four horns against seven, they always bow. Today they will bow your case and they will hallelujah. Amen. So whatever has kept you in the dust state or donkey, you are free the name of hallelujah. Thank you, Lewis Hallelujah. If I so good. When you are lifted, eh, you see visions. Ezekiel was with a, with a, with a, among witches and wizards. Some people in your neighborhood they are witches and wizards. We are your neighbors. And you pretend that your plans are I'm planning for I'm planning to do my jump this year. Eh, you want to do jump this year. So you want to enter invest in you. Uh, what, uh, you should, I want to know, don't you like to invest in invest you want to know invest in ah yes now you don't know what he was you think he's joking every night she flies a witch at her age she's only a witch at 8 years 10 is only a witch and you are telling her everything you are doing that my parents have come they bought me my form and he doesn't come out to buy form and you are telling her uh, after you will, you will see how you pass that jam let us see you will see her his, home, his wickedness in the world so even your area, if you are blind, they will mess you up. Hey, bros, bros, how, how are you doing now? They are the ones killing you. You are telling him now, I'll go back, we'll get interview. Hey, they go for an on, online interview, eh? Uh, go well, though. But he has finished work last night. You will be smelling that place. Only, only you, they'll say you should get out of the place. And you come and tell him, if, if, how you work out today? Uh, man, you guys, man, eh, what could happen again? He's the same person killing you. Because you are blind. But when the hand of God comes on, you are raised from that pit eh, to see your enemies clearly. My God. Hey, shut up. If you don't see them, you can't fight with them. You will still love them. You can't kill a man you love. That's why if a married woman wants to have sleep with you tonight, if, you want to, if a married lady wants to sleep with you tonight, spirit wife, eh, if he comes and you have prayed, run that die, Holy Ghost fire, if it's with your wife, he will stay away. But if he's, he really wants to stay calm, Eh? He will still dear you. When it comes this time, you come with a face you used to love and watch you. When it comes, goes out, and you can't hate what you love. That's why you have to anoint your wife always. You can't hate your wife. You think she's the one. But if you anoint her, they can't use her face at all. Call the oil on her face. So she doesn't have to look for any lady you used to love, anybody you used to love. You don't know your history now. And when it comes, once you, once you ooze love for your soul, eh, love and hate don't go together. Once the love comes, you enter the love. And, enter to, and once it enters, you're you already finished, you're defiled. And marine spirit is the worst for marriages and relationships. They fight, in the, they fight marriage to a standstill. Today, by the horn of the hand of God, every horn of the Gentiles fighting relationship and marriage. They are caused anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey! So, dog, hill, and dust. It's a shoe, it's a... So, if you want to free, come out and see. In Ezekiel 3, 8, 1 to 3. He said, and I was, we have meet, Ezekiel was having meeting with men. Wicked men. They know they were wicked. As he was there, heaven opened and God did like this. Come on, he said, and carry Ezekiel like this. Zoom, like this. From the low state where he cannot see. He was, he was the same level with them. So, they were dealing with him from that level. As he raised the seagull, he now saw them. My God. He saw their carry horns. <laughs> eh? What is this? A man of God came to a church. As he to, came to the, 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 the parish, as he entered the altar to read, he saw the elders he was having it with. One has one big one on the head. One head was a, a, a vulture. What, different, on, in the, he was seeing their life physically. The, go, the guy, all the body stand like this. He said, take it, shake it. He was praying. They were looking at him like this. Some with virtual head, all kinds in this in the church. My God, may you guys we go give eye to see the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It was Tony wife that said to he said, I didn't believe much on you, man of God, until I spray, eh? and I saw what something I mean. 
If they see you, would have believed it today. What happened to her? We should probably what happened? God raised her from that level to see what actually is. So if you don't see, you will still think the man of God is maybe occultic. So without that, they will keep you down. Because you're blind. So if you're in the same level with them, you can't see. You need the hand of God to bring you out. To show you this man, this is your neighbor. He's a, he's a witch. Just look at him. Look at the cover. Look at where they hold So if he's coming, you know, you know. You don't know. In fact, you, you know, when he's coming, you know now. Nah? You don't know before. He's there with you. But you're free. The neighbor. Yeah. Lifting, bring you out to see your enemies clearly so you can pray the right prayer for liberty. One of my auntie had no child. I, pray for, I was praying, but I went to pray for her. After praying for her, eh, I was in a trance the 10th day of the fast night prayer. I was carried by God in that trance. I was going into a coven. And they, if you see the coven, coven of coven, they were eating all kinds of meat. Some people, their tongues, their tongue touched the ground from their mouth. It, they, were terrible, it, they, they were terrible looking. It was a terrible coven. So the Holy Ghost, I was, going, I was going in the air, passing the, I was seeing all kinds of things. So as I got inside, I all saw something, and he said, that's it, take it. <clears throat> I took it. As I took it, as I turned, I saw a face. It was the person she knows very well. I, can't, I couldn't call her name, because they, they can't be, I can't believe that, that she's the one holding her baby. So I took this and I came out. So he said, that night I had a dream, eh? that I came to her door and knocked, and gave her three apples. Is that my children? So as he entered the house, eh? he was going to say, I was very happy. I thought I had to be praying, you know. The next day, he said, the owner knock came again. The same knock. He thought I was the one. As I came out, as he opened the door, it was this, that, that woman I saw. She said, give me the apples. He said, the woman took the apple. Because he loved the woman. The woman is a person he knows very well now. And the woman said, eat the apple. I was going away. That was, that's how I lost the whole thing. Now, whatever God is giving to you now by this service, the real problem in your life in the name of Hallelujah. Yeah. Enemies of divine liftings, number one. Disobedience. As I have to one or two, he said, My hand is not too short, I cannot save you. But what? Your sins. That's how I believe what in the communion to make us what? Keep us righteous. He told me two verse one, he told me to give us one says, eh, If you hearken my voice, eh, I will lift you up above all the people of the earth. If you can hearken, if you can obey. So, liftings are brought down by what? By disobedience. In Psalm 74, verse 9 to 11, it says, bring, is it, is it, Psalm 74, 9 to 11, it says, Bring God your hand to God from your bosom. God's hand is always in the bosom. So if it doesn't come out, you can't be free. If it doesn't come out, you can't be delivered. You will see your enemies because the hand of God makes you see them. That girl would have been delivered from that, that order because hand of God is always at the bosom like this, like this at the bosom. But prayer brings the hand of God to work for your life. So, Psalm 74, verse 9 to 11, and 74 verse number 9 to 11 says what his hand is there but by prayer the hand of God comes out to do what wonders so today by the coming of today every sin of your life that he does your breakthrough they are removed in the name of Jesus Amen. Proverbs 14 verse 34 says sin what is a reproach what to every nation have you? is a reproach so sin brings reproach what's reproach? dust realm so we will see, we enter what the realm of the dust. We are reproached. There's two people in those places. We are rejected by that, that realm. So if we want to be free, we need what? Righteousness life. So I pray that today as you part of the company, we are free. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sin destroys your access to deliverance before God. It does. So if you are, if you want God to lift you up, eh, you, must what? you must wash yourself clean. Make yourself sanctified. For him to walk in your life and make you honorable. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. On that way, it does that. Eh? If, if you are righteous, eh? you, you go up because the eh? Bible says in Proverbs 11, verse 8. Proverbs 11, verse 8 it says, The righteous is delivered from trouble. Are you here at all? But the sinner is, enters in his place. Hallelujah. Yeah. That means in your office, eh? if you keep having this, if you are a righteous person, eh? you will keep going up. You know why? Each time they set trap for you, you are delivered from it. It doesn't work. Are you here? They set up for you, uh, for you to go down. You keep, you keep escaping. So if you are righteous, what happens? You keep going what? Up. Because they will succeed. What? Anything they can succeed. Because God will keep delivering for what? Their plans. So you keep going up. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you are righteous, you keep going up. Because God will keep delivering for what? The works of the enemies. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another enemy of uh, lift is what? Is pride. Are you here at all? A man pride will bring him what? To the floor. That's what I'm saying. So once you are proud, what happened? To the ground straight. They always bring you down. That's what happened to Lucifer. He was arrogant and he came from the glory of God to what? To ashes. So if you are proud, you are brought low. A man's pride will bring him very low. Hallelujah. What's low? Don't kill and what? And dust. That's low. A place of stage of reproach. You see. So once you are proud, you always express what? That kind of reproach. You can't, God can raise you up. God will bring you down when you are proud. Proverbs 29 verse 23. Open to me. Proverbs 29 verse Let's think that. 29 verse 23. Proverbs 13 verse 10. Pride brings contention. That makes that makes people hate you. Pride makes you to always come, you always arguing. People hate you. I don't like this guy. It's always, it always, it always arguing. So they hate you because you are arrogant and proud. If you are arrogant, people don't love you. They can't give you good things at all. So pride brings low. Hallelujah. Read for me that Proverbs 29, verse 23. 23, quickly. A man's pride shall bring him low. You hear that? But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You get that? Is that not clear? If you are proud, what you girl? What's low? Dust and what? Don't kill you. Are you here at all? So, so I see grace to live in meekness. James 4 tells say, humble yourself, what? In the sight of God. Eh? As you serve God, what happened? He will lift you up, what? In due, what? In due course. Humble yourself in serving God. Be, be calm, be humble. Love God, serve God. He said, God will lift you, what? In due course. He will lift you up in due course. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if you are not humble, you can't be blessed. First Peter 5 6 says, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you what a due season. So, if you are not humble to your parents, you, don't, you are arguing, always stubborn, they won't love you, they won't give things. If you are proud, you don't get from poor. And finally, the blood and liftings. The blood of Jesus Christ are first lifted because it brings what? Faith. We are told that by the blood, eh, uh, the seventh seed of the Bible was, t- was torn. Hallelujah. He said, and I wept more. Nobody could open the book. Revelation 5. The book of God was covered. Look at me. Look at it. This is the Bible. It was covered in the realm of spirit. So you can, nobody can read it. And it was sealed. But when Christ died, thank you. When Christ died, eh, the blood was used to open the book for us to see it. Are you here at all? So we cannot see it by what? Revelation be free. Look at, look at, look at, look at what I'm saying now. If you are here now, eh, in this place, if the off light here is very dark, can I see, can I see the Bible? Yeah, so, so your, both your eyes and what? The book needs to be open. The body opens your eyes. The communion body opens your eyes. Why the blood open what? The book. It says, John, in Luke 24, 30 to 31, it says, and their eye were open and they knew Jesus Christ, which is the word of God. So two things are needed in communion. The look, the body opens your eyes spiritually, why the blood opens the book spiritually, so you can see and get what revelation to be free from your trouble. You shall know the truth, what happened to set you free by revelation. And this happened by the power of the blood and communal table. Number two thing you will do there is that, is that if you have bad conscience, wicked conscience, God cannot help you at all. In, in, uh, in 1 Timothy 8, 1 verse 9, it says, faith with good conscience, two things, not just conscience, Faith and what? Good conscience. So if I have faith to move mountains, I have no good conscience. It doesn't work at all. Two things are needed. Faith and what? Good conscience. How can I get good conscience? Hebrews 9, 10 and 14 says, And the blood will purge your conscience from what? From dead works to serve God. If you have bad conscience, you can serve God. And of course, Mark 7 says, Out of the heart come evil thoughts, fornication, adultery, Wickedness, evil eye. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. No, you're always arrogant and proud. You hate people. From, it's from the heart. He said, What happened? God, don't be happy with you at all. But you can clean your heart with the blood communion. It will purge your conscience. It will go in and purge it. And you'll be free before God. So today, as a particular communion, we are purged in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So that we can walk by faith. Faith will come by what? Revelation. God's revelation. What? That communion too. And conscience works by what? By the purging of the blood. So by those two things, I'm free. And I see the word by Rema, and our faith that does what? That bring down the hand of God. As I the verse 1, who has what? Believe our report. Him, God's hand, what? Is revealed to do miracles. So, seven horns of God's hand can only come against the four horns if you have faith in His word. So, if I believe God, His hand will go against the four horns with seven horns and make me free. You are free the name of Jesus. 
We say the blood can remove pride. So one of the things it does to remove the pride in our hearts. Hallelujah. In Mark 7, 21 to 3, the Bible says, one of the things in your heart is what is pride. The pride is of the heart. And you can't remove it by, remove by, 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 uh, by surgery. It's by the blood. Are you here at all? So if I want to remove the pride in my heart to be free from, from, from God's rot, I engage the communion. Mark 7, 21 to 3. Help me read that please very fast for me. Mark 7, 21 to 3. I'm going to pray right now. In case you are here, you are not born again, you need to give a light to Christ. That's what turns things around in your life. The first lifting, he said what? Is to come out of the pit of this world into what? The place of God. The first lifting. If you have not done that first one, others are useless. They can't walk. You have to have this first one is to move from the pit of the pit of this world, depth of this world, into the heavenly places of God. Are you there for me? Mark 7, 21 to 23. Quickly. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, evil thoughts. adulteries, okay. fornications, in, murders, in the heart. thefts, covetousness, wickedness, yeah. deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, evil eye. Blasphemy, blasphemy, pride, Pride. Foolishness. Foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defy the man. So once you are defying, you don't defy. Those things, not what they do physically, what are inside. So a man can commit sin inside. So if you go to heaven gate now, eh, they say a man, two men, one slept with a woman physically. They don't, they don't they do it, but you did inside the heart. Two of them have committed the same sin from the heart. What solution? The communion. Hebrews 9 13. He said to purge those things out of your heart. The blood will remove them. And God will not cleanse you completely. Be free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Second Timothy 2, verse 7 and 8. Quickly. Second Timothy 2, verse 7 and 8. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 2, verse 7 and 8. I will pray with that. We are set to do the communion right now. That's what I'm going to I'm running with that communion right now. Because all we are saying now, the lifting begins from the heart. If your heart is not pure, God can't help you at all. If you have pride in your heart, Instead of helping you, bring him more down. A, a man's pride will bring him low. So if you are still proud in your heart and you are not poor by the communion, instead of you going up, it will bring you down the more. Because God will knock the person down instead of taking the person up because he hates the proud. And the only way to freeze by what part of your heart. Are you there? First Peter 3 verse 16. Having a good conscience yes. that whereas they speak evil of you yes. as of evil doers, yes. they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your accusation conversation in Hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah. Having what? A good conscience. Bible says, he said, he said, he said, how be it, eh? the mystery of godliness eh? is bigger than what? Mystery of iniquity. That's what they call the mystery of iniquity. Sin is a mystery. That when I want to do good, I can't, I can't for myself do my do the good. I do, do evil. That's what Paul says. The good I want to do, I can't do it. I can't what's wrong with me. Paul says, who shall see me for my, for my body? Your flesh is the problem. Your flesh likes life. He likes good things. He can't stay in the church for a long time. He wants to go home and relax in the IDC. He likes enjoyment, the flesh. That's the war you have against what the spirit. The flesh and the spirit fight together. They always fight each other. The, the spirit say, we, let, we need to fast today so we can, we can build up the spirit. The flesh say, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have that time. Uh, uh, today we're, 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 we're frying eggs. There's egg every time. No, 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 I can't. So the flesh always fights the Holy Spirit. You get the point? Let's talk, I want to restore, I want to study what I got today. I don't want to go anywhere. Ah, I don't have that I can't say two hours. All you this that, that series that, that movie now, that uh, movie without uh, so the flesh always fights what your spirit thinks. He hates it. You don't you need God to help you. And the communion gives you strength to get it done. The communion passes with strength to read the word of God. Even about Christ in his blood. So you take your you take his nature. What's the nature? The one that studies God's word. Christ read the book. He said, he said to them, when they were arguing, they said, have you not read? That means he was a reader. Have you not read your book that so and so is there? So he reads. He said, my father, my God, as a part of the community that lawyer, purge my heart, my conscience from dead works. Prayer, prayer, hallelujah. That's the first thing you need to do. Then God will lift you up. No matter what it is, God's hand can break the whole of the Gentiles. The Gentiles' horns are fighting you, but they are still very small compared to God's hands. They are very small. Lord, today, by the communion, destroy the horn of the Gentiles by flushing the way, purging my conscience to God. Cleanse me by your blood, God, today. 
ask God to purge you by the community today. Purge you with pride. You say pride will bring something low. That means even as I hear now, that change you are looking for now, from that lifting from poverty to riches, or from single to whatever, whatever it is you are looking for right now, can all happen if you are proud in your heart. So ask God to purge the pride out of your heart. So that when you pray, God's hand will come and lift you and change your level today. From single to the married, from jobless to have a job, they are all there by the hand of God. From single school to, to university, you pass a jam. It's the hand of God. It's a change of level. So you can't be doing jam more than 10, 10 times. All that have gone, finished your university, you are still doing jam. That's the hand, that's wickedness against your life. Lord, today, purge my conscience of God. Let your hand rest over me today to lift me up to a new realm of blessings. A new realm of blessings in my marriage, in my academics, in my school work, in my whole family. Give me the grace to respect my parents to go and get all the blessings. Male soroku bakalai shara kadabosus libra dokus. Pray, pray, pray. Ask God for that. Purge my conscience by the community today. Make me free. Make me free. Mala Hallelujah. God's hand makes a difference in your life. Hallelujah. So, Father, my God, today, by the communion and the anointing of the Holy Spirit today, bring me out from every dunghill or dust. In any area of my life where I've been low, bring me up, oh God, to bless my life. Pray that prayer, Haruka, prayer, prayer. In any area I've been low in my life, oh God, where I have no, where I have no honor or respect, where I've been made to be, to be nothing. In my academics, in your marriage, any area, Lord, bring me out to God. Lord, help me to the Lord. As I partake of the communion and as I'm anointed to the Lord, bring me out. Bring me out. Into a place of honor, that area of life. Honor in my academics, honor in my any area you want to do that, a place of honor. Change of level from lack and want to abundance. It's a change, it's a, it's a new realm. From sickness to divine health, it's a new realm. Lord, as I partake, let your hand come, me. let bring down your hand on me, Lord. For my change, you go today. Get set for the communion, please. Everybody get set for the communion. And be- believe God as you take it, you are blessed today. Speak to pray, pray in the spirit. Now, as you partake, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. That conscience of yours that is making you know bless you, they are poised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As you partake, you receive good conscience in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As you partake, I know today, I decree and declare that God will come upon your life today. Hallelujah. Amen. And change your life. Hallelujah. Amen. He will lift you up. Hallelujah. Today. The name of Jesus, hallelujah. In case you're not born again, let me pray for you today, hallelujah. In case you're not born again, you'll raise your hand and put it in your chest. They're going to pray for you. They pray for salvation, you'll get born again and you partake of the communion and they'll be lifted to your life. They'll be lifted. Lifted. Every pit of confusion, you are free in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Anyway, you find yourself today, not of God, you are free in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come to you today with all my heart because I believe in the Son of God. You died for me. On the third day, he rose again to justify me. Today, as they forgive my sins, wash them all away by your blood. Today, I receive to my life as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Holy Spirit, come into my life and guide me, guide me from today to end up in God's kingdom. Hallelujah. You are blessed, hallelujah. The Lord shall keep you, hallelujah. This is blessed as the body and blood for us, hallelujah. You take it and you are, you are, you are poured in your heart, hallelujah. Every sin of the God, you are poured, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are free. You are washed and made clean, hallelujah. And God is going to come on you for deliverance. Then you will us. So I receive. It's, it's in your level, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come by faith and pray as you come and take it by faith, hallelujah. I receive a change of level. Holy Spirit, I bless your name. Holy Spirit, you are my lover. Holy Spirit, I bless your name. Holy Spirit, you are my lover. Holy Spirit, I bless your name. Holy Ghost, Spirit of life. 
Holy Ghost, Spirit of Love. Oh, oh. Holy Spirit, you are my lover. Holy Spirit, I bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me not feed and give thanks to God for what has done for us. Magnify him, hallelujah. Take a big course, Labani. Put your hands in your heads. I'm going to decree, hallelujah. I see the hand of God in my life for a change of level. I move from joblessness to what a, pay, a gainful, painful job. You see, you have what you say. Oh. I want you to pray that prayer. It's an obedience. Say, my Father, my God, lay your hands on me today, hallelujah. For my change of level, hallelujah. Now, begin to say that you want from God, hallelujah. Prayer, prayer, hallelujah. Lay your hands on me for change of level. From powerless to God to divine power in hand and cushion. Change my level, God. From where I am now in power to a new realm of power. Now, shake it, take up, Shatike from poverty to riches to God, from foolishness to wisdom, from weakness to strength to God, from 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 shame and reproach to honor and glory, from causes to rest to God, change my level, Hallelujah. Yakatako solabaya, mashe kulabanda ya, li proko proko la. You are not praying. I'm not hearing your voice at all. Ashe kulabanda ya. Pray. Ask God to change your realm, Hallelujah. Masha kule proko labanda saish, li proko roka labanda ish. They give back to the Kalabadish, Lizoko Bala Kalabadish. Be on your feet and pray, Hallelujah. Pray, pray, ask God to answer. Change my name, Maroko Labandia. From failure to success, that anywhere I go, I succeed, Hallelujah. Mashe Kulem Kalausus. Pray in the Holy Ghost, Salabashan to Labandia. Change my name, look on. Eto Prata Prata. Your hand upon me, Halosai. Eto Prata Prata Prata. Libro Kosulabandish. The anointing came on her. God's hand came on her. And she executed my local and the other seas. I receive the hand of God by his spirit. Tell me, my local abundance. Where you live, hallelujah. I wish you were praying for this, hallelujah. I receive the hand of God. I see the hand of God for a change of level. Lain pro katala, eto preto preto, jo preke pra, eto prato prato, areto preto preto, eto prata lat, en prata va, eto preto koto, le kote matuzete, en prata va dushata, en prata prata pra, eto preto preto preto, ja praka pata va, eto preto preto, je to prata, eto prata prata, ja prata prata. Eto prata prata, ja prata pra, ento preto preto jetra, into a change of level, advance sakatava, ento prakata, engleto barike tu matala, je kolento barike na badaja, en preke to medolosh, je kolita la batasote, en pale da ba, ento bede sote bele la bosha, je kweto le mataza. And Twana de Bodosoto, Lem Preke tu Bariana, Jalafa Karanda, and Tobero Cotoso, Jacotta. I received the hand of God, and Tobatasha. That priest, the horn of the Gentiles, every horn of the Gentiles, put him down, is destroyed. They are destroyed. They are destroyed. I'm being the children of now. Mashe Kulabandi, I move to my own place, my new place now. A place of honor, a place of power, a place of glory. By the hand of God, I'm changed. My level change of God. My level change is unlooked. In Oguliri alone, I yet cross Labandi. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Holy
Je dis quoi? I stand there, on a told you, for the cross, the name of Jesus. Mali Sosuve Kaye Kalaro Hosabandia, the Kan de Boko Labandia, the Zuzuve Kati Labanda here. The Zizik of that thing that is from your life, they are called the Emerald Shallow. Amen. Shavakanda Laba. Every hand of the wicked of your life, they are broken in the Emerald Shallow. Amen. They are broken in the Emerald Shallow. Broken in the Emerald Shallow. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mashati Kobra Kalabanda. Every bit of failure, fear, and, and, and discomfort, you are out. The devil drowned. The devil drowned. The devil drowned. The devil drowned. By the pine of the Hallelujah. Be delivered to the Hallelujah. Amen. Be with the devil Hallelujah. Thank you for answering prayer, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for answering prayer, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I'm lifted. I'm lifted from trouble. From trouble to blessings. To blessings. I'm lifted. I'm lifted from shame and reproach. From shame and reproach to glory and honor. To glory and honor. I'm lifted. I'm lifted from cost area from to blessing and lawyer. Then about to So I'm blessed of God. I'm blessed of God. I can't because I'm, because I'm blessed of God. Lawyer. Lifted, I am lifted. I am lifted by the Lord. I will.